If you're watching because you love me, thank you. If you're watching because you don't love me, welcome. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Secondhand Cringe. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrity apologies so bad they made the situation worse. Number 10, Mario Batali. The Washington Post details new accusations of unwanted touching and inappropriate behavior at a party in 2010. Following a slew of harassment and assault accusations, the celebrity chef stepped down from his hospitality empire and was fired from ABC's The Chew. Batali went on to address the allegations in an email newsletter to his subscribers, apologizing for his actions and taking full responsibility. Instead of wrapping things up right there, Batali decided to include a postscript which contained a recipe for his holiday-inspired pizza dough cinnamon rolls. The move was deemed by many to be extremely inappropriate and distasteful. Number 9. Neymar At the 2018 World Cup, Brazil faced a deafening defeat to Belgium at the quarterfinals, which eliminated them from the competition. Many disappointed fans voiced out their frustrations at star player Neymar, whose frequent dives on the pitch were seen as exaggerated and overly theatrical. In response, Neymar apologized to the Brazilian people in a televised Gillette ad, in which he promised to do better. This, however, turned out to be an own goal, as it was later revealed that the footballer had been paid over 200,000 pounds to recite the words, written for him by an ad agency. Assassin. Sem me tocar, sem fazer as faltas, né? Porque eles sabem que, que se não fizer a falta, eu vou parar dentro do grupo. Number 8. Ellen DeGeneres. In the summer of 2020, Ellen DeGeneres came under fire after reports of a toxic work environment came to light. On the season 18 premiere, the TV host and comedian tendered an apology, which was injected with jokes and met by laughter and applause from the virtual audience. Let me give you some advice out there. If anybody's thinking of changing their title or giving yourself a nickname, do not go with the be kind lady. <laughs> Don't do it. This didn't go down well with a number of her staffers, who felt DeGeneres' light-hearted tone was inappropriate for such a serious situation. Number 7. DaBaby In July of 2021, hip-hop artist DaBaby made inaccurate and disparaging statements about gay men and people living with HIV. Even after being called out by many fans and celebrities, the rapper initially doubled down on his comments. However, after losing business collaborations and being dropped by multiple music festivals, DaBaby first released an apology on Twitter. He followed this up with a lengthier post on Instagram, in which he first criticized those who called him out, but suddenly deleted that a few days later. Glad is calling the apology inadequate. They say his statements were inaccurate, hurtful, and harmful. Number 6. Will Smith at the 2022 Oscars ceremony, while presenting the award for Best Documentary Feature, Rock made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith's shaved head, which her husband didn't seem to take lightly. Moments later, Will Smith took the stage again, this time to accept the Oscar for Best Actor, delivering a teary speech in which he apologized to everyone except Rock. After receiving a wave of criticism, Smith posted a statement the following day in which he acknowledged wrongdoing and pleaded directly to the comedian. Months later, the King Richard star released another apology, in the form of a YouTube video, which Rock seemingly rebuffed. The message that came back is that uh, he's not ready to talk, and when he is, he will reach out. Number 5. Matt Lauer in 2017, Matt Lauer faced multiple accusations of inappropriate behavior from women who worked with him at NBC. The longtime anchor was fired by the Broadcasting Corporation. Lauer issued a public apology the following day, expressing, quote, sorrow and regret for his behavior and briefly acknowledging the women who leveled the allegations. The emphasis on his personal embarrassment about the ordeal only called his contrition into question. Following a long period away from the spotlight, Lauer returned in 2019 with a strongly worded open letter, in which he categorically denied the allegations and urged his accusers to acknowledge their own apparent faults. Let's start out with that denial from Matt Lauer. He uh, detailed an angry denial. He calls your story categorically false, that this was a consensual affair. Number 4. Louis C.K. Actor and comedian Louis C.K. became the subject of controversy in November 2017, when a New York Times article detailed allegations of misconduct on his part. Facing mounting backlash and severe professional consequences, Louis C.K. finally owned up to the claims, putting out a statement he intended as an apology. These stories are true. 
At the time, I said to myself that what I did was okay, but what I learned later in life, too late, is that the power I had over these women is that they admired me, and I wielded that power irresponsibly. While he took responsibility for his actions, the comedian stopped short of saying I'm sorry to his victims, instead opting for graphic descriptions of the alleged transgressions and emphasizing his revered status in the industry. Number 3. Paula Dean. The scandal began with the leak of a transcript from a deposition where Dean admitted to using the N-word. Following a series of pre-taped apology videos, Dean appeared on the Today Show to address the incident. In what was regarded as the worst celebrity apology in history, she then devolved into a tear-soaked, Bible-quoting tirade that seemed to push the blame onto everyone else but herself. There's someone evil out there that saw what I had worked for and they wanted it." She subsequently lost several business partnerships and was dropped by her longtime home, The Food Network. Number 2. Logan Paul While on a trip to Aokigahara Forest at the base of Mount Fuji in Japan, YouTuber Logan Paul made a vlog in which he recorded the body of a man who had apparently taken his own life. After amassing over 6 million views, Paul took down the video and issued a written apology on Twitter. In it, he referenced himself more than 20 times and seemed to stress just how extensive his influence was, even ending it with the hashtag Logang for Life. A second apology in the form of a video was posted to his channel the following day, featuring a more somber tone. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment, and I don't expect to be forgiven. I'm simply here to apologize. Number 1. Kevin Spacey In October 2017, Hollywood actor Anthony Rapp alleged that he had been harassed by Kevin Spacey as a teenager. Spacey promptly released a statement in which he claimed not to recall the incident, but apologized for what he termed, quote, "...deeply inappropriate drunken behavior." Then, in a bizarre and absolutely confusing turn, the House of Cards actor took the opportunity to come out as gay. Many decried what they deemed an attempt to deflect from the allegations leveled against him. In the following days, more accusations of inappropriate behavior trickled in, leading Netflix to officially sever their professional relationship with him. Continuing in his statement, Spacey added, As those closest to me know, in my life I have had relationships with both men and women. I choose now to live as a gay man. I want to deal with this honestly and openly, and that starts with examining my own behavior. 